Maggie, I'd like to start with you. Uh, you were on Sandy's Zoom call. You asked him a question or two earlier this afternoon. Take us through, though, your reaction to all of this starting last night and up until right now. Yeah, I mean, this is a story with a lot of layers, as you said, Doug, but listening to Sandy's press conference, I thought the most maybe sobering moment or the most poignant moment was a question from Hannah Kaiser from Yahoo who asked when they were vetting Jared Porter and getting all these glowing recommendations from him all around baseball, were any of the people that they talked to women? And when Sandy said no, I think it underscored a, one of the things that's an issue in this story, which is the underrepresentation of women in the entire sport. And that really came to light in Sandy's press conference today. I know that you talked a lot about this on your radio show today, and I, you were commended for that, and you should be. Um, what did this uh, story, in terms of you personally, that which you're willing to talk about here on the show, what did that uh, bring to you and bring to your uh, thought process and your experience? Well, the extreme nature of what Jared Porter was doing, the harassment that he was, how he was harassing this uh, female reporter, well, that was shocking. This was in no way surprising to women who read this article. And that in itself should be a real wake up call because women, you know, can use this moment to say, hey, put a light on this, right? And, and this is something that is unfortunately a, a common, I would say, experience for women working in this industry. For myself personally, I would say there's a, a wide spectrum of sort of aggressive behavior that women have to endure working in sports. Everything from, as I said, the extreme of what Jared Porter was doing to even like microaggressions or just compliments that go over the line or text messages that are inappropriate, DMs that are inappropriate. And women have to, we basically created these sort of survival mechanisms in ways that we can find a way to still try to do our job if it's possible, while also navigating these incredibly tricky waters. And, and a lot of the questions I was getting today was, why didn't this female reporter, why didn't she just put a stop to it right from the beginning when Porter started to get personal? And I think women, as I said, have developed this sort of defense mechanism where we have to try to laugh things off, be agreeable, try not to rock the boat, try not to make things awkward. And when you add in the power dynamic of Jared Porter being a more in a more powerful position than this reporter was, it really creates an incredibly difficult um, dilemma for women about whether or not they should come forward. So when things like this happen, and I have experienced not to this degree, but every woman has experienced it to some degree. I, I hate that it happened for this woman, but I'm glad it does because I think it makes people have this sort of light bulb moment, like Andy was saying about Sandy Alderson at the press conference today to realize this is pervasive.